Welcome to the video tour of the ceramics room where we're going to be throwing on the potter's wheel for your rotation. In here you're going to find um, a few different spaces that you'll need to know about. Don't mind this messy area back here. Um, over here we've got a student machine that you'll be able to pull up um, any of the instructional videos on. Um, so log in there and watch the video for the day that you'll need to, to follow along with. Um, you should be able to start that playing, watch that while you're beginning to work um, to be able to know how to do some of the key skills that you'll need to know how to do. Um, over in this area, this is where we're going to be able to store any artworks that you're working on. Um, you'll notice over here I've got a, a project that was thrown yesterday. Um, this is actually at a stage now where I could do some trimming on it. So um, it's good to kind of have your projects over here to um, dry out a little bit but still keep them covered so that way the clay is still at a good state for being able to carve into. Leather hard's real good um, to be able to do your trimming. Um, down below here you're going to find numbered tool bins. Um, they correspond to the numbers on the wheels which you'll find coming to the front corner of each wheel. So on a day that you're working you'll want to grab your tool bin have that out near your area while you're working. You can even put that right underneath your wheel so that you've got all the tools just handy and ready to go. Um, or if you'd rather, you can just grab the tools out that you're going to use. Just make sure they get back in the right bin at the end of the hour. Um, this is something where we've got these kits that it's important for all the tools to be available for each person to use. And uh, so we're just going to try to keep them organized that way. So each of the wheels, um, you're going to operate it by making sure the switch is turned to the on position on the side here. It'll start to glow. Um, you'll have your, uh, you can choose if you want to have it on your right or your left foot, but that's your pedal to begin moving the wheel. Um, it's a variable speed, so the more you press down, the faster it goes. Uh, on the actual wheel itself, um, this is the wheel head, so this is where you're going to be putting your projects, or your, uh, the clay, and then throwing your projects um, on there. Um, the way that you want to sit at the wheel is by getting yourself as close to this wheel basin as possible. So when you sit down, you should have your legs pretty much right on connected to the, the wheel. Um, so that way if you're looking down onto the area that you're going to be working on. All right, um, each of them is going to have a little bucket that you can use for water. Um, in here you actually want to put just regular water. It'll build up with um, clay that we can recycle eventually. Um, but you don't want to come to your project with slip while you're throwing. You actually want to use just regular water. This is going to be a washing basin. So um, as you need to, you can come over here. Uh, you, know, you can scrape clay off of your hands as you throw on your, your little uh, slip area here. But um, if you've got major um, things that you need to clean off, please use this bucket here. You can just put your hands in, scrub, a, scrub away, you know, get your um, tools cleaned off and everything like that. Uh, we want to try to reduce the amount of clay that goes down the drain in the other room. Um, so that's going to be your go-to spot to kind of get off larger chunks of clay. Uh, if you're working on projects and you're not happy with how it's turning out, you want to try again. Um, this is going to be the area that you put unwanted projects. Um, we actually use this clay um, to recycle in with the dried out clay to make it into fresh clay again. So as you are, are working on a project, if it's not turning out well and you want to just recycle it right away, um, you scrape it off the same way that I've shown you in the, uh, the other videos to get it off the wheel top and then you'll just put it right in that bucket. Um, these wheels are actually a little bit messy right now. Um, you want to make sure that you clean off your wheel at the end of each class period and you do that just by scraping off as much clay as you can while the wheel is spinning. So you can kind of start spinning the wheel and if the clay is wet you can just use one of the rib tools to scrape it off and then finish it off by using your sponge um, just to make sure that the wheel is totally clean and ready to go for the next time that you use it. If there's multiple sections of sculpture too, you're gonna have to make sure that the wheel is totally clean off the end of each hour. Um, so that includes like any chunks of clay down in this area, you just use your hand to scoop them up and put them in the recycle bucket. Uh, if it's just one section of sculpture too, this is something you can just do at the end of your rotation. Um, things can build up in there and we just clean it out at the end. Um, but you still would want to make sure that you've got your wheel cleaned off on the top here, the wheel head, so that way it's uh, easy to go about uh, throwing again um, the next day. Right, that pretty much sums it up for this area uh, where you're going to be working. You now as projects clean out, or uh, sorry, as they dry out, 
you want to take them from over here and put them in the other area for your hour just to totally dry out and go through the kiln. This should really only be a spot where you've got in progress work. So things that you're covering up to continue working on on the wheel um, while you're doing your trimming.